Hey guys, it's Becky from Bex and Books. I'm here with my July wrap up, finally, and my TBR takedown wrap up, which will be towards the end. Uh, I know Australia reaches August 1st before everyone else, and everyone else seems to have their wrap ups done before I can. That's dedication, and I'm just lazy. No. <laughs> so, first off, um, we have Down the Rabbit Hole. Uh, by Holly Madison, which I don't have the physical copy of. Uh, I lent that out to a friend of mine and um, I gave that four out of five stars. I enjoyed it immensely. Um, it was very intriguing. It was interesting to see what really went on in the Playboy Mansion. I was a fan of the show, or I am a fan of the show, which was, but now is no more. <laughs> Um, but I am quite disappointed the fantasy is no longer um, there because what really went on behind closed doors uh, was quite disappointing. So I did enjoy it and I would recommend it for anyone that's a fan of The Girls Next Door um, or Playboy or Hugh Hefner himself. I would recommend going and reading it and seeing what you guys think. Uh, so the next book I read is actually a library book, which is New Moon Graphic Novel Volume 1, which is by Stephanie Meyer, of course, and the art and adaption is actually by Jung Kim, which is absolutely wonderful. I appreciated this artwork. It's kind of like manga style. you got Jacob, you've got Bella. I just love how she was represented in this book. In terms of the art not the writing I'm not a huge fan of New Moon itself only because of the message it actually brings across two young girls um, that you can't live without a boyfriend but you can you'll be upset you'll be sad it's going to be a little bit hard but you're young um, you've got so much more to live for so don't ever think that you can't live your life without that guy because you are a woman and very powerful. So I gave this one a four, three and a half, four stars, mainly because of the artwork. So I look forward to uh, picking up more of the graphic novels because it's more of an interesting, unique side of it. So there was that one. Next one was Breakfast at Tiffany's by Two Man Campote. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. But this was my classic for the month. Um, I had mixed feelings about this. I didn't like Holly, the main character. I felt like she was very bratty, um, used her sexuality starter style to get what she wants, not caring about the people she hurts around her. Um, I felt like that was very, it was putting women in a very different uh perspective and it wasn't nice um but I read it I don't regret reading it um I gave this one a three out of five stars I did enjoy the short stories actually taught though this is a short story but there was three short stories three short stories um at the back of this one by Truman Capote and that was House of Flowers which I rated five out of five stars um, something short, sweet, but it gave you something in that, which is very rare. Um, a diamond guitar, which was a four out of five stars, which was also quite nice. But then there was a Christmas memory, wasn't a huge, huge fan of, but that's a three out of five stars, still pretty good. Um, so we have that and I love pink. So there's my classic um and then next was a audiobook so confessions of a shopaholic um i have reread that a million times and i thought i really want to get back into it again but let's listen to the audiobook because that's always going to be a different experience and i enjoyed it i believe emily gray narrated it i'm not entirely sure um but it's Sophie Kinsella's writing and it was actually narrated quite well. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I just um, enjoyed it immensely. The acting out parts, it was definitely a tr different experience and I, en I enjoyed it. And I'm going to keep saying I enjoyed it, of course. Um, so the next book I read is 
City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Um, I gave this one a three out of five stars, two and a half, three out of five stars. Um, I'm not a humongous fan of the Molded Instruments series, um, only because of it being a young adult, what the main focus was for book two and three so far was just weird. Um, it could have done without that certain thing, like, oh, we, you know, two people are in love and then they find out they shouldn't be in love and then they can't fight it, it has to be. And then, no, but we can't. No, come back. I seriously, I just, I'm just like, how is young kids going to, you know, see this kind of stuff? It's, and then something else happens and then that's a big no-no and then it's like, pff, I don't know. Um, <laughs> without ruining it, it's just, pff, but you guys who have read it would know what I'm talking about. Um, I will continue with the series. There's only two more books with it. Um, I heard the Infernal Devices are a lot better. So I definitely look forward to reading those three and seeing what I think. But hopefully now that what happened at the end of this one can probably change the way I think about it in the next two. It's still pretty, uh, pretty meh for now. So, um, and also the fact that it has some similarities with a few of the other books that are fantasy sort of for example the guy in this was Lord Valentine is evil blah 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 where do we all know this from like seriously V V V Valentine Lord that is all um so the next one sorry I'm so hyped up on orange juice sugar go me and probably about four cups of coffee big cups of coffee little Candace um, so the next one I read is Splintered, I'm going to like knock myself out, by A.G. Howard. Um, I, I've already said how much I adore these covers. It is a Alice in Wonderland retelling. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. It is glaring, my apologies. Um, I absolutely enjoyed it. I love the way it was, um sort of panned out how it had the elements of the original Alice in Wonderland mixed with Tim Burton mixed with her creativity which is something she's actually said in the back of the books in her acknowledgements so I look forward to reading the rest of them I'm actually reading the second one at the moment and it's not as good as the first so far, but it is still pretty good. And now my opinions on one particular character is somehow changing. And I am quite angry about that. So there's that one. And the next one I read is Dead Reckoning by Charlene Harris and Mia. Look at those guys. Hot, hot. Now these covers are the covers I already have with my previous Suki Stackhouse books, which are up there. Um, and it's very hard to find these covers now. The other ones are actually these bright colours. And as much as I love the bright colours, I want them obviously to match my collection, which is why I'm considering asking the library if I can actually buy this one. I don't know if, <laughs> if they'll let me, but we'll see. Um, I'll kidnap it. I'm just kidding. You will have it back in in the condition I got it in. But um, this book was pretty good considering it started going a little bit downhill, but it kind of picked up again. I gave this one a four out of five stars, which was pretty darn good. This is the 11th book and I did actually cave in and bought the 12th book in the bright blue it is I believe it's up there um so this one ended quite nicely where I actually wanted to pick up the 12th one straight away so hopefully this month when I do my TBR pile I definitely will be adding the next one and considering the amount of books I've been reading it's not quite huge so I will be looking forward to continuing that I'm quite sad because there's about two books left of Suki Stackhouse 
but I do enjoy Charlene Harris's writing so much that I've actually started, I'm going to start another one of her series, Looking Into the Future. So the next one I read is this big book from the library. It is a Christmas book. It is Wolfsbane and Mistletoe and it's by a ton of authors. They're all short stories about Christmas related but of course werewolf related. So um, I didn't read all of them because a few of them I was just, it just didn't make sense to me. I believe it's because they're short stories about um, major series that they have written about. Like Charlene Harris's version in this book is actually Sookie Stackhouse in um, a Christmas style with um, her, I guess, grandfather, which you would understand all that if you read all her books and who her grandfather is. Um, so I gave these ones, the ones I did read, a three out of five stars in total. I did enjoy it, um, and I kind of like werewolves. You just have to be in the mood for it, and why not do a Christmas story in July? Because isn't that a thing? <laughs> then the next one I read is a graphic novel too by John Lehman and Rob Guillory. Um, he is holding a finger in his hand, um, cause that's not freaky. I gave this a three out of five stars. I wasn't a huge, huge fan of the story. I think it's cause it's the first volume. It's still introducing a lot of the characters and setting up the story. Um, so I, I do look forward to reading the second one. It's just, I didn't connect as much. I mean, I've heard people that extremely love it. But for me, it wasn't as gripping as I was hoping it would be, but it's still a 3 out of 5 stars. And I do look forward to picking up the next one, which I'm not even sure if it's out, but I hope it is so that I can, hey Candice, so I can read it. Photo Bummin, okay. She looks fake over there. Now the next book I did read is, this is the section of the, the TBR takedown where I had five challenges. These were hosted by um, Leaning Lights, I believe her name's Shannon, um, who is amazing. If you haven't checked out her YouTube video, I'll try to leave a link below, I'm still learning. But um, check it out, see how it goes. I did enjoy this cha um, these challenges that she created for this readathon, it was for a week from from oh my goodness I can't even remember what date it was from last Friday to or last Saturday to Friday oh my goodness I can't even remember go me um so the first book I read was a first in the sequel first in a series is The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot and I enjoyed it it was quite easy quick to read I love the new covers that they have it was quite funky um I like the fact that they started her at 14 in the book, so it gives her um, more of a chance to sort of grow into her character as finding out she's a princess. Obviously, that's not a spoiler because, yeah, obviously. Um, so I did pick up the second one, so I hope to read that this month. Who knows, my TBR pile is just getting bigger and bigger, so I guess it depends how I feel about this particular chocolate read, young adult sort of thing. So I did read this one. I completed it. It's about 302 pages. So TBR takedown first in a series. Check. And the second book I read is a graphic novel called Apocalyptic Girl, an aria for the end of times by Andrew McLean. So this is Aria there and this is her cat Jelly Beans. I enjoyed the connection and the friendship between these two, particularly at the start where she's playing I Got Your Nose with the cat waking the jelly beans up. So it was quite funny from the get go. I did rate this 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I, I hope there's more to it. I believe this just came out this year. So this was actually um, for the challenge pick up a book from your recent haul and this is what I picked up because it was short I was starting to panic because it was coming to the end and basically I enjoyed this I do hope there's something more to it um, if not 
this still satisfies me I would pick it up again for sure now that is all I managed to finish for my TBR wrap up um, I did start and get to page 379 almost halfway of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon which is what I'm still continuing to read um, so I am quite proud of that achievement considering I work all day every day for like eight hours a day and trying to fit everything in to adult life when you have to still cook tea for yourself and um, have the attention of your cat who wants to play and will try to rip your book from you trying to fix all that in so I definitely hope to finish it this month and I also um, started Unhinged which I got about 80 something pages into um, I also had this on audiobook so this is the second in the Splintered series by A.G. Howard um, I love the covers like I say and I am quite enjoying the book I just kind of ended up I guess slumpy I guess when I panic and I try to force myself to read so much a day I get too stressed out and I just don't want to do anything so I'm still quite proud that I did participate and um, you know I made a YouTube video um, as well or made YouTube videos as well and started it all so considering I think I've done pretty darn well this month um, so hopefully I'll have my TBR up very soon I hope you enjoy this video um, if you do thumbs up and if you don't well just be kind and walk along <laughs> so subscribe if you want to if you want to see more of this lovely creature here Candace say hi <laughs> now she's coming over so that is all for today from me and my booty cat hi baby huh? thank you for watching have a good one